This is Kiwi, my two-year-old bearded dragon. She is the love of my life and my best friend, and I don't know what I would do without her. The America Competes Act is supposed to boost the economy, but hidden inside are Lacey Act amendments. The Lacey Act is what makes it illegal to import and export certain animals into the United States or out of them. This will make it the amendments will make it illegal to cross state lines with any animal that's not a cat, a dog, or some form of livestock. Today, we'll be looking at how it's unfair to force pet owners to choose between their pet and becoming a criminal, how it will be devastating to the pet trade, and how state-sanctioned regulations have always been enough and why there's no reason to stop them. To understand how many people this will affect, you have to understand how many people own exotic animals. 50% of all the pets in America are considered exotic. 8 million homes have freshwater fish. Nearly 10 million homes have birds. Six million homes have small animals like hamsters and guinea pigs. And seven million homes own reptiles. This is a African gray parrot. His family is moving from Phoenix, Arizona to San Diego, California, which in reality isn't a very far move. But the family would have to give up their beloved bird that they have had for his whole life because it would be illegal to cross state lines with him. This guinea pig has a severe case of bumblefoot. He was poked by a piece of hay and the wound got infected, making his foot swell up to almost triple its size. The only vet that is available to them is an hour away across state lines. This guinea pig cannot re receive treatment which will ultimately end up in his death. This is a fully grown green iguana. He had a bad case of tail rot. Tail rot is when a wound becomes infected and all of the cells in a reptile's tail start to die. This iguana needs to go to a sanctuary to live the rest of his life comfortably, but that sanctuary is in the Midwest and he lives in Florida. He will not be able to go to the sanctuary where he could live more comfortably and this will ultimately result in his death. That's why it's so horrible to make pet owners or people who take care of animals for a living to choose between their pet and becoming a criminal. You may be thinking that the pet trade can't be making as much money as I'm saying that it does, but according to reptophiles.com, the annual revenues of reptile breeding alone approaches $1.4 billion every year. In 2009, 11, repti 11 million reptiles were exported out of the US, but only 1 million were imported so the U.S. is the capital for reptile breeding and other types of uh, animal breeding as well. If breeders can't ship across state lines, then they lose a large portion of their business. And that will ultimately cost them their business and their livelihoods. Between 1994 and 2008, the ownership of reptiles alone increased 68%. So the argument that people don't own reptiles as pets is just not valid because there are statistics to disprove that. State-by-state -state regulations have always been enough because America has too diverse of a climate for a one-size-fits-all rule about species control. This is a green iguana. Green iguanas are now illegal in Florida, 
because they have become an invasive species due to too many people releasing them out in the wild. But in Iowa, if they were released into the wild, they would simply die because they couldn't thrive in the climate here. The climate is just too diverse for a one-size-fits-all rule. It's not feasible to ban one animal everywhere when it could be responsibly kept somewhere. In Iowa, it is legal to keep primates as pets. You could literally have a monkey running around your house but it is illegal to own a two foot long Western hognose snake that will live its entire life in a 20 gallon tank. That just goes to show that these laws are biased and they aren't being created by people who really know what they're talking about. Ecologists know that Western hognose snakes could not become an invasive species in Iowa but we can't own them, but we can own a monkey, apparently. In conclusion, we should oppose the America Competes Act because the Lacey Act amendments hidden inside are unfair. It would be devastating to the economy when the bill is trying to boost it. And state-by-state -state regulations have always been enough for being able to keep pets uh, in your home that are exotic. Oh, dang. I forgot my entire conclusion. Thank you.